welcome to part two of EX1 Lists and Links, where we'll continue putting our content in our page for our HTML. And I'm just going to put my EX1 Lists and Links. Now you could put an ampersand, you can also use this, this thing up here is a symbol for ampersand, you could use this too, but it, it should work even just putting in the regular ampersand. Or you could put in that ampersand, and let's just see what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. My EX1 listen links and uh, exercise. You don't have to put exercise in there. So, so that's all you need to start. That's just your your headline. H1 is kind of the biggest heading on the page, and we may have more than one. Now, as long as we're doing that, let's go into the header. Now, these are different. The header is different. It's a special section, and we're going to put our image in there. Now, we're not going to use this image. We have an image to put in there. And it's this one that's in here called ex1header.jpg. Now what we're going to do, and you're going to have to write this correctly, is you're going to, again, hit return, and you're going to put in an image source. You're going to do image, and then a space, src, and then an equals. And you could put space equals. You don't have to. And then just put the double quotes. And then what you're going to put into the double quotes is going to be this file, except you have to remember to put img in here because it's going in the folder. Everything we're working on is in EX1, except you want to make sure that it's going into the folder. So you got to put IMG first and then a slash. That means go to that directory first and then put EX1-header. And you got to type it right. You got to type it just as it is right now. I mean, they might, might let you drag it in here, although that just, I think, opens a file. So, so right now we're just doing it kind of manually. And make sure you put .jpg. And that's all you need to start. Now you should put a width and height. Now you might say, well, what is the width and height? An image source does not need a closing tag. It needs a closing bracket, but it doesn't need a closing tag with a with a forward slash in it. So if you just did this, it should show up. And if it doesn't show up, it means you might not have the IMG slash or anything like that. So you have to make sure that you have the image source equals. And you know, this is the the attribute is source. It's the image element, the attribute is source, and then the value is wh where the file is and what the file's named. So if it was in the same folder, you wouldn't need IMG. But because it's in its own IMG folder, you have to put IMG slash, just like up here when things are in their own folders. And something else you should put in here is the width and height. And I'm just going to put width equals, and I believe it's in quotes because these are all attributes, and then I'll just put height equals. I'll put a space and put height equals. And I'm not putting them in because I'm not sure what it is right now, so I have to double check. And it should put the two quotes in there. So if you don't know, so if you double click on this and open it up, it should say somewhere 800 by 280. So that's what this is. So it's showing me the width and height right in here right now. 800 by 280. Now you don't have to put PX when you're working with HTML. You will with CSS, but you don't with HTML. So I'm going to put width 800, and then I'm going to put height 280. Now you don't have to have that. You saw it worked without it, but it's recommended that you put that in there. And then it's also recommended to put alt tags. You're just going to put alt and then put equals, and then in quotes, just put what whatever the alternative text would be if someone couldn't see the image and you could just put header image that that way people will know what it is and they won't be thinking it's navigation or anything really important it's just your header image and, and that's fine to just put that in there so it's recommended to put you have to have your address in there in your image the source but then also the other attributes we're putting in here is width height alt and attributes are width height and all the values are 800 to 80 and header image and notice there in quotes and then we close up the tag so that's our that's our image and that's all we need for our image right now and then we're going to continue with text on here so we're going to start with our lists on here and i'm going to do my first list and i'll just start off my list and then we'll see how we're doing on time this main h1 is going to be on its own and let, let me just look at this again this has some recent this is going to be a paragraph and then we're going to have a list, and then we're going to have a paragraph, and then we're going to have a list. So next up is a paragraph, some recent shows I've watched. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to put a paragraph. And and notice that it's putting the pair of paragraphs. So I'm just going to put some recent shows I've watched. And 
I'll just put three dots there and then I'm gonna have my list and I'll start my list and then I'm gonna start a list and my first list is gonna be ordered so I'm gonna use an OL because we're gonna use numbers so I'll put an ordered list and notice it puts the pair I'm gonna hit return and then I'm gonna put LI's and I'm just gonna put LI and it puts a pair of LI so what am I gonna put in there I'm gonna put a recent show that I watched uh, I watched Vikings that's one of the ones I watched kind of over over the, the winter over the winter break watch some Vikings and watch some others um, but I'll just put Vikings in there and it's just text right now so that's and notice that it has these are our kind of parent child um, under main a child of main is going to be h1 um, paragraph is not it's the same it's a it, paragraph is actually a child of main it's not a child of h1 and so these are all equal so that the indents kind of indicate what's the parent and what the child is now li is a child of ol of the ordered list so that that's indented and that means it's a it's a child of it it's inside it and we're gonna have three of those but the reason I'm not gonna put all three right now is because we're gonna do links and it'll be easier to copy them once we do the links now uh, otherwise I could just make three lists so if I go here right now you can see I have a one and that's just Vikings but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hyperlink them so we could actually click on them and then kind of just view something about the show so if somebody read it and they're like well what's Vikings you could click on it and see a description of it so I'm going to do all that first and it'll be easier to copy and paste the links we have on there so I'm going to go back in here and what I'm going to do with links I'm going to do it a hyper I'm going to put a hyperlink so I'm going to do a and then href that's a hyperlink reference and then I'll do the equals and then in quotes I'll put two quotes and that's actually going to be what what links now I'm going to close my link right here and and I have to make sure to move this I'm gonna move this a I think I can I don't know if I could drag it or if I have to cut cut and paste it I'll just cut it and put it around here what you want to do is you want to wrap your opening a and your closing a this is the closing a you can see there's the opening and closing or if I click on the opening there's the closing it's being wrapped around the text Vikings now what I'm gonna put in this quote here is the address of where I'm gonna to click to so I don't know where I'm gonna click on yet so I'm gonna open up a tab and I'm just gonna type Vikings and I'll put show so it, it kind of looks for something and it'll probably here's Vikings TV series Wikipedia that's fine uh, this is all the stuff about Vikings and what I'll do is I'll just go up here I'll do copy I'll copy the URL and I'll just go back to here and I'll paste my URL in here and that's it that's all I need to do so that will hyperlink it the word Vikings and remember the a link the closing a tag needs to be outside of Vikings the opening a tag needs to be in front of Vikings so that it hyperlinks it so that when you go here it'll show up with a little underline on it like it's linked and if you click here it'll actually replace that tab which we want to change so I'm gonna hit my back button because we don't want to be hitting the back button all the time so what we can do is go back here again and we're gonna put another little attribute in here uh, inside this opening tag this whole thing is the tag a ref before that tag closes I'm gonna hit space and I'm gonna put target equals and you might have done this before and it's gonna be blank with an underscore and what that does is it makes it open up in a new tab or a new window so I'm gonna do that right now and also if this stuff is not wrapping what you want to change I think it's under view I think you want to go to layout wrap lines we want to go to wrap lines so it actually is wrapping them right now so it's not you don't have to scroll across so make sure you do that and I think that's all we need for the first part of this and I think that everything there should be okay if it and I'll, I'll just double check that it works I'll, I'll close this up and I'll go back here and I'll just click on Vikings and there it is and then I could close that and it goes back to my regular page so that's exactly what we want and I, what I should do is go file save this file unless you see an X on it means it's not saved so I'm gonna do file save and just save that file that index.html file right now I think what I'll do is take a break here and then we'll pick up for part three which should be able to finish up the HTML